Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I'm here with our second personal break of the day and we do have one more hobby box here of 2021 Top Star Wars Chrome Galaxy. Now this box here is for Peter P from California, so thank you so much Peter. Now let me open up even more Star Wars for you here on the channel and I hope to find you some awesome cards to add to your collection. Chrome Galaxy boxes do advertise guaranteeing one autograph per box, but as we saw from Michael, you can also get bonus hits in the form of sketch cards. So we may see another sketch here tonight for Peter, we may not, but I'm very excited to see what we'll find here in this box of Chrome Galaxy. So let's go ahead and just jump right on into it by snapping us into the corner. Let's see what we can find. Now, tomorrow's release of Battle Plans, of which I'm opening up two cases live, of course, as long as everything works. I uh, did go ahead and link the the page for that stream tomorrow up there in the corner. But it is seeming like pack odds for sketches is actually much better, much better than Chrome Galaxy. Chrome Galaxy, we're seeing two to three on average per case. I've seen one person get four sketches a case. But the pack odds, I believe, are one in 47. So it's looking like six sketches per case on Battle Plans, which would be absolutely very, very exciting. So it's just getting me more excited for that stream tomorrow and a little more nervous because we've been having those issues uh, with the upload. So Boss Band's job tomorrow I actually had sent me a screenshot of a speed test I ran about an hour ago that had like 690 download and 0 0.08 upload. And he's like, that's ridiculous. So tomorrow he's going to be trying to talk to like higher up people at Spectrum C and be like, bro, y'all you got, you got to figure this out. But I'm a little nervous because it seems like if we're the only ones having the problem and we can't switch to any other service because nobody else surf services is building, uh, Spectrum should just be like, ah, get wrecked. Like, you know what I mean? Like... Do they technically have to do anything about it? We're kind of out of luck otherwise, so we'll see. But I just ran the test again. It's not very good, but it's at 12. So 12 is what we had before we upgraded our internet. So like I could stream right now. And I'm a little surprised because it actually started thunderstorming. So I'm like, wow, we have better internet when the weather's bad. That makes no sense. Uh, so hopefully everything does get uploaded in a timely manner tonight. And hopefully everything is all resolved. Because like I mentioned, we have the two cases of battle plans tomorrow. Got two cases, maybe less. There's someone locally that might be interested in some allure. So on that stream uh, for Friday for allure hockey, I did pin time and quantity subject to change. Yeah, because it might not be two full cases. Might be like three inners, might just be one case. Uh, but we do have those two streams coming later this week. And then, of course, our Saturday night, Saturday night streams, which Peter's box was supposed to be a part of last week. But that doesn't happen. So, ooh, look at that mojo. We've had some really nice mojos tonight. Look at that. Padme Amadala here, card number 40. Arts by Steve Chorney, 37 of 50. Gorgeous mojo. Look at that. Love it. Love it. So let's go ahead and get that sleeved on up. Very nice first color of the box. We got a mojo refractor Padme for Peter. Padme for Peter. P -p -p Padme for Peter. All right, we have a global poster and a wave or a sing on Tatooine. That is 33 of 99. Wave Refractor. Back-to-back -back color here. I don't know. It's, they seem kind of close together. I wonder if this will be perhaps a hot box. Hot boxes we've seen up to five numbered refractors. Some people even said they've gotten up to six. Usually per box you're finding like two to three. Let's see here. Looks like we have another green autograph. It is Omid Abta. He has Dr. Pershing, of course, from The Mandalorian. 16 of 99. Dr. Pershing Auto is our guaranteed hit of the box. And a base Mace Windu Refractor. All right, so let's sleeve up the Pershing. It's a very tiny signature, but I do love the green refractors. Love the color, love the color very much. All right, so we have our guaranteed autograph. Will we find a bonus sketch, or are we just going to keep finding tons of color refractors? Do you have Boba Fett Starship here, Atomic? Card number 136 out of 150. All right, nice Atomic there as well. We got some... Slave One action. We got some Padme, Geonosis, and Green Hood Padme from Revenge of the Sith. We got some, got some Phantom Menace action over here with the Aura Sing. We got some Mando. Let's see if we can find all Star Wars time period arts here with our refractors and such. Let's see if we can do it. We have ATST refractor. So what are we missing? And Boba Fett's starship picture. What would that be from? It's facing an X-wing. So I'll just. I'll just mark this as ESB. So we do have, right? So this counts for two and three, one. So we need fives, five, seven. We got Mando. If we can find some secret trilogy stuff so we can get a little bit of everything here. That'd be cool for Peter. Not sure what Peter's favorite time period in Star Wars. 
Of course, excluding the High Republic because there's no cards for that. Actually, I stand corrected. I believe there's a Tops on Demand set for the High Republic books. Which is a little weird. But hey, I mean, if I, if I actually had read the book that I purchased, I have that first hardcover High Republic book. I think a new one came out recently. I just haven't had time to sit and read anything. I still have these all these limited edition Thrawn books I haven't read from the new Thrawn trilogy. The new, new one. I read the Thrawn and then Alliances and then the other one. And then I'm talking about like the new past Thrawn tr Ascendancy trilogy. I haven't gotten to read any of those yet, but I have those special limited to 750 print books. Which those are staying sealed. They have the regular copies as well. well anyways, back to the cards here. Ray Scavenger Refractor. I don't know. We have three numbered refractors. We could be done here for Peter, but let's just keep going. The Darkest Lord Refractor. You have Jabba the Hutt Vintage Toy and Sad Farewell Base Refractor. Cover art to the box. Leap of Faith, card number 28, I believe. Yep, card number 28. That is a popular base card that sells very frequently for us. You have Star Destroyer Vintage Inserts and Max Rebo Band Base Refractor. All right, getting close to the end of the box here for Peter. Maybe not a hot box. I was thinking it was for a little bit since we had back to back to back. And you know what we had back to back of here today? Sketch cards. All right, let's save that for last. Let that Gavin Williams sketch just chill over there. All right. Global poster. I believe that's a USA poster. And then Fall of a Jedi, literally. There, art by Matt Bush. And last pack. Do, 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 do. X-Wing Fighter, and a purple, okay, so we did have a purple here, Emperor's Royal Guards, that's number 25 of 25, eBay Omega Parallel. That's a new thing I was seeing for a little bit, it kind of dropped off, so I hope hope that kind of died out, because I people were saying like the ones of whatever were the alpha, and the last one was the omega, and I'm like, oh my goodness. Wasn't eBay one of one enough for y'all? You guys gotta come up with new terms? But anyways. Tidy up these piles, and we can reveal that sketch here for Peter. Unfortunately, we have seen a couple of Gavin Williams sketch cards that have been a bit damaged. As I mentioned to Michael, if so, I'll let you know, Peter. Uh, if you'd like, I can provide you the materials for any damage hit form with Tops. Although you do exchange it, you don't know what you're getting back. So Tops will send you a replacement hit. You don't know what it is. So if you like the sketch, I always recommend you keep it, unless it's something absolutely egregious. But some of the Gavin Williams sketches have had a little peeling on the bottom. So let's go ahead and reveal this one here. We do have a little Ewok, so this one too has a tiny bit down there. Not as bad, actually, as Michael's assorted alien. I didn't know what that was, unfortunately. But this one is much less noticeable here. So definitely, Peter, let me know. I can get a pack, cut out the piece of the box that you need, and print out the form you would need to send off the tops. Just just everything short of doing it, except actually filling out the... And mail, well, I'd fill it out for you, but not mailing, physically mailing the form out to tops for you. But and get you everything you need if you would like. Like I said, though, if you're an Ewok fan, I'd personally just keep it. Very nice sketch. You don't know what you're getting back. Might not even be the same set. No. If you guys do have damage cards, Tops, like I said, does replace them, although it's not like a one-for-one -one exchange, especially on sketch cards. You, you really can't do anything. Um, all sketch cards are unique, so you never know what you'd get back. So I, I like this one. This one here is cute. Like I said, very, very subtle down there, but it does have a little bit of the peeling. So we do have another sketch card here for Peter. So very cool. Finding two sketch cards here tonight in three boxes. Definitely a lot of fun. And of course, a lot of gorgeous color. I'll keep the materials off to the side just in case you would like them, Peter. Like I said, no pressure. Just let me know in response to the email I sent out linking you the video, what you'd like me to include. I'll hold off on packing everything up for now. But all right, let's go ahead and do a recap here. I had some nice numbered cards. Didn't quite get to one of everything, but we did get pretty far into the Star Wars saga in terms of time-wise based on the images. Did have an atomic, a wave, a mojo, a purple, and a green autograph. So out of 150, 99, 50, and 25, nice spread of numberings here. Boba Fett's Starship, 136 of 150. Aura Singh on Tatooine. I said wave, 33 of 99. Did a special geometric one-third parallel. eBay, eBay eBay three of nine, one of three, huh? Look at that, eBay one of three, who? <clears throat> I hate it, dude, I hate it. And we had this gorgeous, my probably my favorite here in the box, the Mojo Padme, 37 of 50. 
And that purple Emperor's Royal Guards, the purple part is up there in the logo. 25 of 25. And our autograph was a green Umut Abtahias Dr. Pershing, number 16 of 99 there. Green Refractor. And of course, last but not least, can't forget about that sketch card. Is it Wicked in particular, or is it a general Ewok? I must admit, I'm not too familiar with the Ewoks. Does look like Wicked, but like I said, could be mistaken here. Ewok by Gavin Williams was our bonus sketch of this box. With that, that does finish off this opening here for Peter. Thank you so much, Peter, for letting me open up more Star Wars for you here. Definitely a lot of gorgeous color. Always nice to find a bonus sketch. And I'm excited to see what Battle Plans brings us tomorrow. So, Peter, make sure to tune in for that if you are able to. But with that, that does finish off our Chrome openings here of the night. Do have one more personal break coming up. Some Yu-Gi-Oh! Blaster boxes. So, switching gears. Pretty hardcore up next. But that does finish off our Star Wars openings for today. But again, thank you so much, Peter, for letting me open these on up for you, and I really hope you enjoyed this box. All of you are out there watching, of course, this is Peter's video, but I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, don't forget to go on ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, leave those down below. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, I'd love to have you join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, y'all, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We have 12 Black Label fans, Anzen, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Devon, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Satari, Mark Mardini, MT, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also have 10 Gem Mint fans. Alberto M., Chicago Infinity, Dragonfire, Dusty Archuleta, Jarrett Chigeek, uh, Joey J., Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, and Sinvicta. But thank you so much to all of our channel members. And of course, all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. With that, that does wrap off things for me here in this one. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.